Hello everyone welcome back to Dr Mommy Bean Hope you all are doing good It's been long since I have uploaded the video I was so busy settling down the school hospital and other house chores This vlog was taken the next day after arrival from Kerala Since we came very late last night everyone was so hungry and I prepared an early breakfast prepared an easy egg burji with the leftover onions i have saved i have brought some ready to go patris from kerala this product is very different from the usual ones we get in packets this is so tasty and fresh all we have to do is that just to microwave for 5 to 7 minutes this is one of the family business of my co sister but you cannot buy it anywhere it's locally available only so i'm not able to provide the link So it's breakfast time. I can see it in your eyes. You've seen the moon and its darker side. I can feel the gravity. The forces pull between you and me. Yes, it's true. I'm falling hard for you. But I won't rush this love. Immediately after breakfast I started sorting out some of the luggages. The first and foremost thing was indoor plants which I brought from my sister's garden collection. It's been 5 days it was preserved in the bottle and just yesterday I packed it into this cover. So literally it's like 5 days outside. So firstly I'm reviving every plants by putting them in ice water not more than 20 minutes. After 20 minutes I'm transferring them to normal tap water. I'll be replanting them into normal pot only after they show new roots. As usual every vacation we have lost of some plants and this was a spider plant i have kept very nicely in the water but somehow it got rotten the same thing happened to few of my money plants also there were different colors and different varieties finally this is the end result even though i was also keeping the dripping irrigation bottle still this happened So now in order to make them better I will be cutting all this rotten part and repotting them one by one Some of my plants were very good enough to survive even though much care was not needed one of them was this pineapple plant it gave extra shoots and the other one is this palm even though the water was not sufficient for 20 days it still survived We had few finishing works for our vacation project and we were too lazy to do it right from Kerala as uh, we were enjoying it. Finally we have completed all the works and Naila is feeling little bit bored so I was tying up everything and organizing so that next day it will be a hassle free day for her. 
coming to the outdoor plants it was very tough for them as they have to survive the intense heat in uae and we also made our natur to water this plant so some of them survived really well for lunch i prepared lemon rice and raita and pickle we had all this in the fridge and in the pantry ready so now it's time for shopping because i don't have anything left uh, for the coming weeks fresh i mean the fresh grocery and veggies Whenever I go for shopping I already have my grocery list and this grocery list is prepared according to my meal plan so I don't have any confusion in buying what is needed If you really feel like uh, doing everything in an organized manner uh, you can check my uh, meal planning and meal prepping video this will make your time so easy and you will feel very thankful later on for yourself It's the festive season of Onam and everywhere we can find flowers even in Lulu or any supermarket in UAE After dinner and the kids are sleeping I have few very important things to be done I have brought banana tree from Kerala along with uh, this arvi also It's just an experiment uh, because I'm not sure it will be well grown here still I wanted to try so I have brought two plants of banana tree and also two taro or arvi plants so I will be planting them in this soil and later when new leaves are coming out then I will be transferring to this uh, garden some of the things i have packed for 5 days back because i was coming from my house to my husband's house so some of them are really like very old to open the pack so i was just opening up to check whether it's uh, rotten thank god it's like uh, one of the side was starting to be rotten so we will be using it tomorrow This is called breadfruit and it is very tasty when the curry is made for chapati or any uh, lunch recipe. The fridge is full with birds are chili the Indian garlic peel so that the work is so easy and we also have some onam uh, onam items this is a uh, clam uh, pickle uh, from Kerala this is pulinji uh, just uh, getting waiting for the onam satya and we also have some pickles uh, and this is uh, kayam we use for fish marinade and this is made in a traditional way so it will be fermented this is also some pickles we also brought a huge uh, bag of curry leaves this is like home grown one it will not have any pesticides the big thing when which we are buying from the supermarket it's full of pesticides so this will be good to go for 3 to 4 months if it is properly stored and i have shown in my previous video how i used to store this uh, curry leaves it should be air tight and well maintained to make it moisture free So I'll be storing this in three to four containers, and only I will be opening this to change the towel. And regularly using one will be stored in a small jar, so that even though it's open or closed, it will be like a small amount. I have brought some uh, fried beef from Kerala. In between, uh, I was having some snack. This is my regular mango sago pudding. I have this recipe in my eat blog. It's very easy and tasty when you are hungry. 
so i'm making the basic tadka for the pickle uh, and, and i also have the video of all my pickles in my previous videos so you you can bring the beef or fried fish in this way and all you have to do just defrost it and then make the pickle in an easy way so that you can make a mess free luggage beef pickle is a very tasty recipe and it will be like good to go for even six to seven months properly preserved and uh, it's like a traditional kerala recipe as i told you the big jar will be open only after fermentation the small jar is in between uh, for tasting i also have to transfer few more pickles this is the kadumanga uh, tender mango pickle and also lemon pickle after adding the pickle i'll be adding a thick layer of oil above the pickle so that it will not be spoiled or you can also prevent this layer uh, from fungus at the last minute i had few printouts to be taken so finishing of that work and that's the end of all the school works Here are few products I brought from Kerala. Uh, you know, I'm so much in love with lipstick shades, and I got three new shades. It is liquid lipstick, and it's uh, from the brand Glam. Uh, this is a very nice uh, pigmented and non-transferable lipstick and it comes in a very good shade range and my sister was having a bundle of them so i brought three more to me to my collection So recently I have found few uh, nude uh, shades and also some rare shades which can suit the Indian skin tone and uh, main thing is it's long lasting. Just adding all my lipstick into this basket so that it's easy and this basket is from Vainada. Uh, I will be uploading my Vainada blog soon. And regularly uh, if for makeup I'm using this foundation so I wanted to buy some BB cream and CC cream so I brought from the brand Pons and Lakme and this concealer too. I wanted to try shopping in Misho and this time I did and it was really worth and just wanted to share with you guys. This is a cotton top coming uh, in a very nice design. I shall share all the links below in the description box and this was very nice to wear also. This is another one and I think it's very good to go for uh, outside also as I brought it as a daily wear. This is same as the first top. It comes in a red color. Actually the color was supposed to be red but it's kind of brown this is also another daily wear kurta set in dark navy blue color this is a regular short top in black and it's a little bit of uh, uh, like party wear kind of thing but it's good to go this is another one it's so nice material it's a mix of cotton and polyester this is also a kurta set and the pants are very comfortable and they have the matching laces at the bottom and this is a very comfortable cotton wear and it's also a kurta set i think you have seen this in my previous vlog this is also coming in a very affordable range and i have washed it three four times and still the color is the same this is not from Misho this I brought from Amazon and when this was arrived the material was so good and it was looking so good on my mom so she also brought the same so we have twinning kurtas now and even after washing the material and the work says stays very nice so it's like very good uh, and it's good to buy 
sister had given me a surprise gift and I didn't get yet a time to open it and today finally I am opening it and I guessed it, it is a hoop still I wanted to <laughs> see it. I really really loved this and it, I was so happy opening this one and this will be very precious and I soon have to find a wall for this. If you want to give someone such hoops, just check her page. Uh, she is uh, selling this in Instagram and she is very talented and you can customize the hoops according to the occasions. Since it's time for back to routine, all my meal prepping, meal planning are here and this will make my week very easy to cook. I had a very little onam celebration at home just for Naila and Nora this time because we were very busy with our schedules and also it was just few days after our arrival. I prepared a mini sadhya and we all had a wonderful time together. I hope you all had a wonderful vacation those who were on vacation and we also had the same and we will like all of you we will be also waiting for our next vacation to see our dear and near ones. I hope you all are liking and enjoying my videos if so hit the like button and do subscribe and share. Till then take care and signing off Dr. Mommy B.